So hi guys, my name is Siddhant and welcome back to a new video and today we are going to discuss which are the most easy to use, which are the most favorable no code, low code platforms for creating Android as well as iOS apps, right? So in today's video, we are going to discuss four platforms that are very easy to use, that are very popular. Uh, if you want to create no code or low code apps uh, for e-commerce or for business or for marketing or for any kind of business, right? And you can create apps within few minutes, right? Just by using low code or by using drag and drop features. So before starting with the video, if you're new to this channel, then do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to receive the latest notifications of my videos on time. So hi guys, I would like to start by telling a fact that by 2025, 64% of all the apps that would be created in the world would be by using no code or low code platforms, right? We all know that in today's world, the biggest barrier for any non-tech entrepreneur is to figure out how to develop the tech for his business. And in today's world, if you don't have a good technology, if you don't have a good software, then your business is as good as a hardware, right? It is not going to scale, it is not going to grow. And therefore, developing tech is very important. The platforms that we are going to discuss today are not useful for deep tech businesses like AI, machine learning, but they can be used for almost 95% of the businesses out there from e-commerce to marketing, to trading, to uh, your business promotions, to advertising any kind of business online marketing you can build any kind of business by using these online platforms and you can do all those things for free on these platforms or even at a very fractional cost that you would have instead paid to an app developer or a techie right so let's directly dive down into the video so the first platform that we are going to discuss today is adelo now adelo is a very popular platform uh, for no code and low code developers and you can develop both android as well as ios apps on this platform very easily now how to use these platforms is actually very simple and in fact uh, they themselves have made uh, many tutorials and lessons uh, in order to learn uh, how to make uh, apps on their platform. So you can see on the screen that there are many tutorials, many lessons on Adelo website. If you go and check it, you will find multiple videos and lessons uh, in which they teach you how to create uh, an app on their platform. Now on this platform, as I've already told you, you can create any kind of business from e-commerce to business listing to marketing uh, by using third party integrations as well. And it is very, very easy to use platform. Now you can see the pricing plans here. There's a free plan. Now there's a pro plan, which charges $50 per month or a business plan that charges $200 per month. So now just to start, you can start by using a free one or you can start at least if you're serious with a startup, then you can uh, try a pro plan that is about $50 a month and which is very, 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 in, in fact, it is very cheap compared to what professional app builders take. I think if you want to uh, get an app developed by a techie and if you're planning to outsource it, they would charge you $50 just for an hour right and so you can understand how cheap and how easy it is uh, and you can do it as per your own taste uh, this is comparatively expensive uh, compared to the rest of the three that i'm going to tell you in this video but still 50 dollars per month i think it's a very good deal now what they've shown on their website is also you can see uh, in the video that they have given a list of uh, apps that have been developed by the users uh, by professionals by freelancers or by startup owners uh, the kind of apps that they have already developed on adalo so you can also go through all the sample apps and also the types of apps that you can uh, yourself build on Adalo. So it's very interesting to see that they've also shared uh, a lot of user data, uh, consumer data and consumer insights, uh, which helps you understand how easy or how useful uh, the platform really is. Now, moving on to the second platform for today, that is AppyPy. Now, AppyPy is again a very popular uh, no-code platform, uh, which is used to build an app. However, as compared to Adalo, it may seem a little basic in terms of features. However, it is very easy to use. And also uh, some of the themes uh, in uh, AppyPy may seem a little outdated or very basic and you cannot uh, customize much. Uh, however, if I talk of the pros, uh, then uh, it is very user friendly. It is very easy to develop an app on AppyPy. And also you can uh, create an e-commerce app as well by using third party integrations for using various features. So it is very uh, easy to use and convenient app. However, speaking of the cons, as I've already told you that uh, 
it seems a little outdated uh, the themes that you get are not that modern and uh, not that good looking so uh, many people try to uh, avoid it however if you're a beginner then it is very uh, good for you to make your first app or first uh, working app on this platform now again you can see that there are a lot of uh, video tutorials on the platform and i think it is a very great initiative by uh, those platforms that they themselves have made various tutorials and lessons on how to use their own platform instead of we going onto the youtube and looking for videos it is very helpful that the platform has given it uh, on their website now one benefit uh, that appipi has and which makes it very popular is that you can develop multiple variety of products not just app but you can use it for web development and all the uh, products that you can see on the screen so it is a very feature rich platform if you want to create multiple uh, varieties of products on the same platform and then moving on to the pricing you can see that there are three plans the basic gold and the platinum uh, and as you can see uh, in the table that you cannot create ios apps uh, in the basic and the gold version uh, you also don't get uh, premium features in the basic version however i think the platinum uh, plan at 199 per month is also very affordable if you compare it to adalo that was 50 dollars around 4000 rupees a month now this is just 2000 rupees a month and it is a very feature rich platform so you can try out a lot of things on happy pies well now moving on to the third uh, platform for today that is bubble now bubble is a drag and drop easy to use app builder again you can develop uh, android as well as ios apps of various kinds by using again third party integrations as you can see on the screen you can use various third party integrations like facebook like stripe like google sign in like mailchimp for marketing and it is very interesting that you can just create app within few minutes by using drag and drop uh, feature and now uh, again uh, in terms of learning how to use the platform you can see that uh, there's again an academy page where you can go and you can uh, see various tutorials and lessons related to how to use the uh, bubble platform so it's again very easy to use and then speaking of the pricing you can again see that uh, there are four plans here free personal professional production uh, if you are uh, just a new startup founder you can at least uh, have the personal plan because again you don't have much support in the free plan and the personal plan is again $25 per month so it's again half of the cost of the Adalo platform but uh, I think Adalo is also very good so if you're willing to spend that much you can go for Adalo uh, however uh, you, you can see all the tutorials and then you can decide for yourself uh, which one seems more convenient which uh, one seems more feature rich but from my personal understanding I think all uh, four of these are very good so uh, it depends on you what kind of features uh, do you want you want a no code platform or a low code platform uh, so you can go for a personal uh, plan that is $25 per month and then there's professional and then there's production which uh, you might not need at a, a small startup stage or starting phase right now moving on to the last and the fourth platform for today uh, that is Thunkable now Thunkable is again a great app builder uh, and it is a no code platform it is not even a low code platform it is again a no code platform like bubble and it is very easy to create android as well as ios apps and the best thing that I feel about uh, Thunkable that is different from all the previous three is that you get great in-app animations that you can use to create a great user experience and user interface. So you can use great animations in the app as well uh, to create your own customized app. Also what you can do on Thunkable is that uh, you can create your own application from scratch or there's a list of sample uh, apps that uh, they themselves have provided on the platform which you can uh, just pick and choose and, and you can then edit uh, the sample as per your convenience and as per your taste and then you can instead of beginning off from the scratch you can just edit the sample app and you can uh, create your app much faster just by editing and uh, making some changes in the sample one now again you can see that uh, as all the above three had provided you can again see a tutorial and learning page now coming on to the pricing of uh, Thunkable uh, you can use the free for zero dollars or you can go for pro premium pro and enterprise now enterprise you might not need if you're a starter however uh, I can see that the pro and the premium pro are also very decently priced if you see the premium pro is 42 dollars per month that is about 3000 rupees so if you are uh, very serious about your startup then you can try with premium pro or if you're just trying your hand at uh, making applications using no code platform then you can again go for just a pro plan that is 21 dollars per month if you go for annual subscription and if you go for monthly then it is 25 dollars per month which is same as that of bubble so uh, all those platforms are very interesting and as I've already told you that uh, till 2025 64% uh, of the app development is going to be done using low code and no code platforms because not every entrepreneur can uh, do computer science degrees can learn web development or coding and 
all of us have expertise in different field you might be good in marketing or graphic designing or product creations or operations or supply chain management right so having an expertise in one of those fields and then you are going to learn python or c++ or some coding language i think it's just a waste of time why not use uh, readily available platforms that are so easy to use and that are so cost effective as well so that's it for today guys i hope you like the video and all four of these have uh, some unique features you can go and you can see the tutorials the lessons as well uh, on their uh, website and i'll link uh, all the websites for these platforms in the description below so so you can go and check the description and you can find the links to all these platforms as well and if you're a startup founder and if you're wanting to start a business and wanting to create your own app then there is just one advice that i'll give you is to start as soon as possible because in today's world it's very easy to create apps and it is very important as well to create apps if you want to scale your business so just go out there try out various platforms and create one for your business so that's it for today and if you like the video then do hit the like button comment share and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to receive the latest notifications of my videos on time we'll see you in the next video till then goodbye take care thank you